All right, I'm um, just finishing off uh, the last of uh, four medium-sized potatoes, which are going to become like plucky pieing like uh, You'll see shortly what I do. Peeling potatoes, if you're not sure what you're doing, do not do what you're watching. Uh, if you need to, use a peeler. But uh, I'm going to show you now how I actually get a level cut without going through the whole potato. So I use chopsticks. Uh, I generally just use one to be honest, but I'm showing you a method so you get a nice even cut. And they're about uh, an eighth of an inch thickness, maybe a bit less. And I'm just slicing down, whoops, let me mark that one up, slicing down to the actual chopsticks, which means it's not going all the way through to the board. So at the bottom, the potato is still intact. Uh, you will see little wedges cut in there, but it's still one piece. Uh, if you make a mistake, of course, you just uh, eat it anyway. I'm just cutting up a little bit of garlic, and you'll see in a minute, uh, I'm not going to put that big a slice in between the potatoes. I'm just going to cut them in uh, tiny, little tiny bits, so I'm going to use them as wedges between the actual slices that I've done on the potato. And you can make up a little garlic butter type thing, like you were doing garlic bread if you like, but I just like the garlic in with the potato. So I'm now just going to open up the slice and put up just one little wedge of garlic in there. And again, just repeating the process all the way through. Like I say, you can do all sorts of things at this stage. You could have had that garlic in with a bit of butter, a bit of parsley, and you could open it a little bit wider, just like you're making garlic bread. Uh, but I prefer just this way. Now, uh, it's finicky. Like if someone said, would you do that every meal? No. I do like them every now and then. I can tell you when you take them out of the oven, uh, the garlic just smells unbelievable. It uh, is beautiful. If you don't like garlic, don't put any garlic in there. But I love garlic. We eat lots of onions and garlic. So I'm just about finished this now. And I won't bore you with doing all the rest, but you can see uh, that's what I'll do with all of the uh, four medium sized potatoes. Now I'm going to use a little bit of neutral oil. This is rice bran oil. I'm just going to spray the bottom of the pan. Just a, a little bit. Just coating it. And then I'm going to put each of the uh, potatoes in. Give them a light spray. That will um, aid with the next step, which I'm going to put a few seasonings on top. And a bit of herb. So it's just the potato wedges with the garlic in between. And now I'm going to put a little bit of uh, black pepper. I have black pepper on everything. It's a great seasoning. So, a bit of cracked black pepper on there. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Again, in the cooking process, a lot of that salt will cook off, so you're not going to have all the salt consumed. This is a bit of paprika. Uh, I use a smoky paprika, so it's not a hot paprika. You can do. Use chili powder if you like, I don't care. And I'll just finish off with a little bit of parsley. So, that's going to go in the oven with some chorizo sausages, which we're going to have with dinner tonight but I'm now going to cut up a little bit of broccoli and a little bit of uh, carrot so I'm going to steam the broccoli and I will uh, boil the carrot underneath uh, as you'll see shortly now this is enough for two people what I'm cooking tonight so those four potatoes are two each and there's uh, a fairly large carrot and a medium carrot so I'm going to cut them all out I'm just showing them this is not fancy this is just cutting them quite thin which means they're cooked quite quickly so I won't show you all of that, but that's the process of uh, cutting up the carrots. You'll see the end product now. Carrots all cut up, broccoli. And all we need to do now is uh, put a pot on the stove and probably add a bit, a bit of salt. I like a little bit of salt in the cooking of water. And uh, then we're going to put in the uh, carrots. They're going to go in first. Whoops, I need to add a bit of water. And then we'll just add the carrots. This is on medium high, and as the heat and the water gets to you know simmering and boiling, I turn it down. I don't rapid boil anything particularly because I'm going to carefully cook the broccoli on a steamer. And then we just uh, put the lid on that, and it will do its job in uh, 15, 10 to 15 minutes. They'll be ready. So, bang! There you go. 10 or 15 minutes later. I'm going to check the broccoli, and now the broccoli's got a little bit of bite left in it. I don't like soggy broccoli, so that's ready. And I simply will push the carrots to the side of the pan and try the fork through them. And they go quite easily. Still a bit of bite in them. I don't like soggy veggies. 
Now we're going to pull out the um, potatoes out of the oven and these smell fantastic. Let's dish up dinner. We're going to have, um, of course, the, the centre of this meal for me is the potatoes because they took the most time to prepare. They smell amazing. Uh, potatoes and garlic and uh, herbs and spices on there. These are the chorizo sausages. They're a mild one. Very tasty. Bit of spice in them. Uh, no real heat. Uh, delicious. And here's some uh, carrots that you saw me cut up earlier. Straight out of the pot. And then we'll add the uh, the broccoli to the dish. So we're just about done. Dinner's uh, ready to eat. Now, I like honey on my carrots. Not all the time. But I do like uh, a combination of flavours that you'll see here in a minute. So these carrot slices, I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, this is called capilano honey. Uh, very nice honey. So, a bit cold today, so it took a bit to squeeze out. But, uh, mm, fair bit of honey on there, I like my honey. And now what I made up before was a bit of uh, cheese and mushroom sauce. This is just one mushroom cut up really fine. Maybe a little roux and then uh, a bit of cream. That's just delicious. You could eat that straight out long, believe me. If you get dinner and just eat that. So there you have it. That is uh, the meal. But they are the star of this meal, the potatoes. So, like I said. So that's it. Um, these potatoes are fantastic. Give it a go. And again, if you have been watching, thank you very much.